The choice of the statistical test depends on a number of factors. Firstly, it depends on the level of measurement. There are at least three levels of measurement that we consider while choosing statistical tests. The first is the categorical. So if we are dealing with categories, it's the categorical level of measurement. Categorical variables are also known as nominal variables. They are about categories. So there can be two or more categories. But an important thing is that there is no order to the categories. The categories could be the names of state to which you belong. So that can be one of the categories. It can be the language you speak, the hair color you have or any other demographic category. So uh, categorical variables are all about names. When there are only two categories, it could be yes or no, it could be male or female, it could be on and off. These are known as binary variables. The second is ordinal. When we deal with ranks, we are talking about ordinal level of measurement. Ordinal variables are ranked according to categories. These categories could be, for example, app rankings, it could be economic status, it could be educational status or any other such ranking. But an important thing to remember here is that the spacing between these two ranks may not be the same. And when our variables are numbers, continuous or discrete, then we are dealing with a scale level of measurement or we even say it's an interval level of measurement. So the interval scale is also known as the numerical scale. They are pure numbers and these numbers can be continuous or discrete. So they could be uh, in decimals or they could be just whole numbers. Intervals between the numbers are equally spaced. So the scale of measurement, whether categorical, ordinal or interval decides which statistical test will be chosen. Another important factor that decides the choice of the statistical test is how do we collect the data. Do we collect it once or do we repeat the measurements? In certain cases, we have to repeat data collection with the same individual or a related individual. Repeated measures of the same variable are taken from the same subject or matched subject. In a longitudinal study, for example, we administer the same questionnaire to the same individual after a certain period of time. In other cases, we may repeat the questionnaire after exposing the subjects to a certain condition or providing certain treatments. And the third factor is how many groups do we have? Do we have just one group? Do we have two groups? Or do we have three or more groups? So that is another factor that will determine the choice of statistical tests. We may have two groups, male and female for example, or multiple groups, rural, urban or semi-urban. Another thing to remember here is that there can be two different types of statistical tests. One is known as the test of association. The other is where we are looking for differences. So these three factors along with what research problems we are trying to address will determine which statistical test will be chosen. So let's have a more detailed discussion on this. Independent variable is the one which the researcher considers to be the cause. He manipulates this independent variable to see its effect on another variable. The variable that we think is an effect is the dependent variable. It depends on the cause, the independent variable. Another decision to make is whether we go for parametric tests or non-parametric tests. Parametric tests have to satisfy certain conditions. They are assumed to be independent, they are assumed to have a normal distribution, there is a homogeneity of variance and they are measured on the interval scale. We choose the independent t-test which is a parametric test when we want to find out whether the difference in means between two groups are statistically significant. 
for example whether the marks obtained by boys and girls are statistically different so as we can see the dependent variable is scale here the marks and the independent variable is binary if you want to ascertain whether the difference in means between the groups are statistically different and the parametric conditions are not satisfied we go for these tests we go for the one way ANOVA test when we want to find out whether the difference in means in three or more groups are significant for example the three groups could be three different income groups we might want to find out whether the marks obtained by students across three or more income groups are different so there we go for one way ANOVA test we choose the paired t test when we administer the same questionnaire to the same student or same subjects after a period of time or after introducing certain conditions to them so as we can understand this is a repeated test a similar test under non parametric conditions would be a wilcoxon signed rank test if we are looking for associations between two scale variables for example the marks obtained by students and the time spent on online classes so these two are scale variables if we are looking for association between these two scale variables we go for the pearson's correlation coefficient if the variables are ordinal we go for spearman's correlation coefficient chi square test is a very similar test but it looks for association between categories for example people in different states of india and whether they watch amazon prime netflix or some other ott platform we use the simple linear regression test when we want to predict the value of one variable based on the predictor variable for example we might want to predict the marks scored by students based on the time spent on online classes when the dependent variable is binary for example male or female happy or sad on or off or such things we go for logistic regression in logistic regression the dependent variable is binary we now consider statistical tests where there is just one dependent variable and there are more than one independent variables so we go for multiple regression when there is just one dependent variable and there are two independent variables the first independent variable is scale and the second independent variable can be a binary variable or a scale variable we go for the ancova test analysis of covariance when there are more than two groups and the independent variable the first one is nominal and the second one is scale